apologize for wasting her time or being so forceful with trying to see her and then just say, I wish you all the best and move on. Yeah. Alrighty, here we have the Snapchat conversation. You looked hot today. And the girl says, thanks. And then he goes, we should hang out next week. That happens all the time. I'm kind of seeing someone who sucks. Really? Who? Since when? Surely it's not that serious. With a winky emoji. Like, who does winky face? Like, come on. And then she is annoyed, which, fairly enough, it's giving off annoyed vibes, and I don't blame her. It's none of your business. I'm seeing someone else, and I'm not interested in hanging out. And then he goes, fucking chill, lol. Was just joking. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Wow. You weren't joking. The guy has had his pride hurt and almost it's like, I've got to protect my reputation now. I've been rejected. Let me be angry back and put it back on the girl so that way I don't look like the silly one. If your only conversation is about hanging out, then you're never going to hang out. I think it's fine to compliment someone online, but I would not start the conversation with you look top today. Just starting with something like simple, basic, friendly, um, you know, no red flags in there. And then I guess the conversation can always just, you know, lead on to something a bit more fun and simulating. I feel like after the girl says, I'm kind of seeing someone, that's your cue to be like, all right, cool. She doesn't want anything. She's already seeing someone. She's in a relationship or whatever she's in. A lot of girls feel worried that if they say, sorry, I'm not interested, that's not going to be enough. Apologize for wasting her time or being so forceful with trying to see her. And then just say, I wish you all the best and move on. So this one is from Cora. How do you respond to a rejection text from a girl? I have respect. I know you might feel so bad that you've just been rejected. All your emotions are coming out and you just feel angry. You feel sad. You feel depressed. Whatever you might be feeling, that's okay. You can feel like that. But the worst thing to do is to just lash out at someone and just say, oh, you're an absolute head for not liking me. Um, I know that I'm the best person out of like this whole year level. There was a time where this girl was never in your life and you were happy before that. So you can be happy again, even though this girl's rejected you. If you cry over her, do it, let it all out. If you did get that rejection text, you definitely have put yourself out there and you've definitely given it a go. And you know, you're not gonna look back and regret the fact that you never tried. You're not gonna say, what if, what if, what if, you know? Like, it's just gonna be, oh, like it didn't work out. Hang out with your mates. Go to the gym, go for walks. And then the next thing is just talking about it to someone that you trust. I feel like my usual step uh, about things like this is I think I give myself time to think, okay, how do I feel? Why do I think this is the case? And then when you sit with uh, someone that you trust wholeheartedly and you tell them that and someone that knows you well, you kind of get that other opinion of, from a third person perspective. And then I promise you after a week or it might take even a little bit longer, your mind will slowly put that memory of rejection behind and behind because you're focusing on other things and you're doing things to make yourself feel good. 